Hello everyone and welcome back to the American Pride Network and welcome to our brand new series here of The Hunter Call of the Wild. So why are we playing this game? What is this really about? Well, this is a hunting style game completely unique to the person playing. You're not going to see the same content as every other person playing on YouTube. Uh, we will be starting off with a new character. As you can see, I don't even have a continue option. I made a separate Xbox profile from my primary one, but I do have probably, I'm going to say maybe five or six hours total into the game. So not a lot of time. There's definitely a lot of experts out there to this game. I am not one of those. I feel like I have a good kind of idea of how the game works, but I'm not a professional by any means means and you're probably going to find a lot better people at the game out there than myself but this is for people that really enjoy watching me play and watching me start a new series i don't know how long we will do this series i want to say if it's good and popular and you know i'm getting a decent amount of views as i am the other stuff on the channel then you know we'll keep doing it and play it for as long as you know i'm getting interest in or as long as i feel like playing it i guess um I really enjoy this game. I do have a few of the DLCs unlocked. We can actually take a look at those before we jump into the game itself. I got the weapons pack three. I got the tree stand and tripod pack. I got Yukon Valley unlocked. Uh, I also got duck and cover weapons pack one over here. I got a trophy lodge and wild goose chase uh, pack as well. So I don't have all of them. A lot of these come come with weapons that are going to help us off as we get the game started here. I'm not sure if we'll use them all in this first episode, but uh, we'll be probably starting off with our main gear, you know, doing some of the story missions and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's hop into a new game. All right, we're going to go with a male character. I actually like that option six person. The rest of them are kind of uh, option one's not bad. Uh, I think yeah, I think we're gonna go with option six here Yeah, option six looks the best we're gonna start in Leighton Lake uh, We do have a couple of these other ones unlocked which is really gonna be good um, I did not think we had Medved unlocked maybe we can't visit that place I don't really know but we're gonna start at Lake and Lake Leighton Lake and uh, start the Whole uh, story mission and everything so let's hop in Ah you made it here in one piece. Welcome to the Untamed Wild. Name's Colton Locke, but everyone calls me Doc. I'm the warden up here, and I know just about every nook and cranny of this place. I heard this is your first time in the Pacific Northwest and Lake District. Well, this here's the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. I've been hunting here my whole life. And I still don't get tired of this place. So first of all, I gotta say that this map Go is ahead, absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot to discover out here. Not just the big game. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so we Try to find the an first animal mission. track around here. There is a deer right there, the initial... Is there a reason why tracks are not showing up for me? I mean, I see a deer right there, but... Okay, for whatever reason, tracks are not sure. There. Out. Use your binoculars to get a closer look. Maybe it's something... Let me check the settings real quick. Uh, game. They're on. Mission systems on. Tutorial and hints are on. Hide hunting HUD. 
Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Inactive tracks are white. Active tracks are magenta. Yeah, we should be able to see tracks. For whatever reason, it is not working. Okay, well, we have to shoot this deer. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Heart and lung shots mean quicker kills, less painful. Gentle now. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. Okay, we're actually going to go prone, I think. If I can still see it, I can't. I'm going to go crowd. So normally, we would not be able to move this much and get this close to a deer. Oh man, the... It's because of our heart rate, so I'm all over the place. Hold on, let's wait for our heart rate to go back to normal. I really want to drop this deer right, right off the bat. It's bleeding, so that's a hit. Follow the blood trail to find it. Shouldn't have gone far. I think we got a good hit on it, so I don't think it'll go very far. Oh, I can see those tracks. Why can I not see active tracks, though? Well, we did not hit it well. We're just going to kind of White tailed deer are often saunter. slightly bigger than the black tail, but they're quicker to flee if they sense danger. So we got very low blood. Yeah, we're just going to kind of saunter along. It was a doe, so it shouldn't get far. Obviously, we have no perks or anything on. Mm. Sounds like Richard's gonna need a help in hand. Oh, there we go. I like the magenta color because, especially on this map, magenta shows up very well. Sorry, we got this full-blown survivalist fella living out here all year round. Richard Hope. He got in a bit of trouble, it seems. I can fill you in on the details later. Alright, we got her at a walk, which either means that she is, you know, dying or... There are times when you'll want to be moving fast out here, but not when on a hunt. The animals will hear you coming a mile away. Still bleeding. Dang, I wish I had get a better Stay shot. Stay low when you're stuck in an animal. Dropped her right to there. avoid being seen. I should have gone for the next spine shot because she would have dropped a lot sooner. But they're hard to get, especially with the 243 that you start out with. Well, there's a mating call for a white tail. Maybe we should park somewhere and try to call that in. No, that's okay. This is still blood, so she's still bleeding. She, we're gonna find her down here at some point. This was just now. Is that her again? See a deer right through the trees right there, and it's right broadside. Oh. We got that one right broadside. I don't know if it's our same deer, 
or if it's a different one, but I think it might be the same one. Yeah, it is. So we shot the shooter twice, but that second one was a perfect broadside you want to get your shot. Bearings. There are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. Yeah, see, we got her a left lung and a stomach shot there. Not ideal, but you can see kind of if we had got her right over that back shoulder there, it would have been perfect. My joystick seems to want to uh, spin on me. Which isn't ideal for this game. Okay, so we got some money out of that one. Let's pull up our hunter bait again. We got some XP. Alright, let's take a look here at our mission log. Getting the lay of the land, we need to go up to the lookout point, which should we should actually be fairly close. Yeah, right there. We'll place a waypoint, and I believe I could be wrong, but I think there's a point of interest right here too. One that we will check out. Yeah, this 243 that you start off with is not a bad rifle. However, I think we will probably upgrade to the polymer tips as soon as we get to an outpost. Because they allow us to do a little bit more damage. More penetration per round instead of, you know, these soft point bullets that we're using right now. There's a feed zone for white-tailed jackrabbits. Take a look around here. That's our hunter mate. I want the binoculars. Kind of just want to look. If we have an opportunity to get another kill. To get us some more cash money. We will take it. I know this reason that you start off with is really thick with black tail and white tail. Which is going to be probably our primary game for the majority of the first part of the series. If you guys want to see some really good people at the game, some people that I've been following is Flinter and Risky. I really love their content. It's a feed zone we just marked. We do have other guns unlocked. We have a 30-06 unlocked that came with the weapons pack 3, I believe. And I'll tell you what, that one's probably one of the my favorite guns to use. But for the sake of starting a new series, I feel like that's... It's not cheating, I guess. Cause, ooh, there's a bear right there. Oh. I don't know if we should go for this because we could be tracking him for a while. This is 243. Not the best weapon for taking out big game like that, like the bear. Okay, well, there's our lookout tower, so we're fairly close to that. Yeah, we're going to need a little bigger caliber weapon for that. I don't think I'm going to bring in the .30-06 until probably after we have gotten the 270 that you unlock fairly quick in this game. So I'd like to really use the 243 because it's going to be a good way for us to get used to... For us to get used to really putting in good shot placement because that gun will not reward you very well if you don't get good shot placement on animals, so... You really need good shot placement for that 243 to bring down stuff like the white tail and the black tail, so... There we go, we got a point of interest, we got some lore unlocked. Alright. And now we're gonna head up to this lookout point. We'll remove the waypoint there. You can clearly see where we're going, so I'm not even gonna bother to place one up there. I really uh, can see why mouse and keyboard for this game is really uh, favorable. 
for one thing, I don't know if it's my Xbox controller. This seems to be the only game that really does it, but the controller kind of wanders a little bit. All right, so let's get up to this lookout point and scour the area. All right, so we have arrived at the lookout tower here. So let's head on up. set up camp. It's also famous for the railroad bridges along the old North Pacific line. Keep an eye out for them if you can in between blacktail hunting. Or why not use them as vantage points? I once bagged a whitetail from the Runaki Bridge. Be sure oh. to stop by one of the outposts. You can find pretty much anything you need there. This guy talks too much. All right, so there's an outpost. We put our waypoint there. Um... So, really, we got a skill point to use, too. So, let's go here. Um, so, there's two different skill points here. Uh, I put it into ones that I can use more. Um, approximate health of the animal. Reveals information about trophy rating and weight of animal. I think, for now, we are going to put in into Stalker. Because this will offer us the level one here if we buy the first one. The directional tracking cone becomes more accurate and narrower both in the world and on the map. So that's going to help us out more. And then we got tier one ready to go too. So <clears throat> uh, level two obviously increases the distance at which tracks are visible and highlighted. And the directional tracking cone is now even narrower. And I just heard a big... A big noise. Can we track that? For whatever reason, it's not letting me. Okay, so we gotta visit an outpost as far as as part of our main mission here. And we might actually go down. The wind is perfect in our direction. We might actually try to hunt that noise. We want to be semi-quiet. We'll sit on this ridge right here. And might be able to call it up. So I believe we have our call on us. That one's not going to work. This one will, though. This is kind of a perfect area to sit. We're right on the hill. We'll have the ability to look right down on it. I don't want to make too much noise getting in here, though. See, I tend with these games to really whisper when I know that the they can't hear me. The deers and the deer and stuff, they can't hear me when I'm talking, but I tend to whisper. Guess I'm getting in the zone. Alright, we're gonna try to perch up right here. Because if that's a doe, even though it's not worth as much as a buck, it'll come in closer. The wind right now is blowing in our favor. If you see this cone down here, if we were pointed this way, that's the way the wind's blowing and it's going to carry our scent. Where we're pointed this way now, it's not going to carry our scent. So the wind is blowing in our favor so the deer won't smell our scent quite so easily. I don't know if that was a mating call or a warning call, but I do think that that was a deer of some kind. So... If we can call this in and be able to take it out. It's going to be more cash in our pocket. And then we'll start moving down towards the outpost. Oh, here we go. we got something coming up here. Oh, it is. It's a deer, too. Okay, we're going to get our rifle. He is right broadside pretty much right now. Ooh. Listen. We nailed him. Did you hear that? 
calls are really helpful when locating an animal. I don't know if that was the same one right there. I think he stopped. I don't 100% know. I want to see what kind of a shot we got off on him. Oh, I don't know. No organs hit just now. I'm hoping we dropped him, but... Oh, wait, he's right there. That one we hit, I don't really know where, but... Okay, we'll come back to that, because we're going to have to track that one, too. We got this one bleeding. We really need those polymer tip, because... This is not doing the kind of damage that I'd like to see, and probably most of that is my fault from my shot placement, but... And we also have a lot of shots right now going everywhere. Okay, but this is our blood. We need to follow where we're getting blood from because that's a trot, but I don't think that's ours. There we go. There's a trot. There's more blood, so this is definitely the direction he went. Trot. I hope that we drop this guy because he's going to be a big grab here for us. Okay, this looks like he went down here. Had a run. There's more blood. See, I thought that the second shot that we took on that deer was the same one. Not a different one. So... Got a shot on her. I don't think we hit the second one. She's not going to go far. Alright, so we found the doe that we just shot. You know, it's nothing much. We got a flesh, stomach, and intestines shot. Not the best. I was going for a lung. So I think the best thing to do is to kind of slow down our shots a little bit. We did get these next There's key. no shortage of ways to earn money as a hunter. No shortage of ways to spend it either. The good thing about the soft point bullets that we're using primarily right now is that they are free, but the polymer tips are much more effective. So, we are going to start working our way back here. We did not find the other one, and it should be dead here somewhere. So if you can see, we got hunting pressure here. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's dead, but it should be. 
So we are going to head back towards our waypoint, which is up here. See if we can come across it. I mean, we tracked it for quite a ways, and then I didn't see any blood, so... I mean, we pretty well scoured the area. It might be a loss. Alright, so we are back to where we were. I wish it was two bucks in, but... For whatever reason, we could not find the other buck. But we did shoot another one. I believe it's just through here. So, let me see. Is this blood? Nope, that's poop. Alright, so we are on our way to our first outpost. Where we can kind of... You know, be able to access the store, stuff like that. There's ATVs that we can get a hold of. I'm not really trying to be too, too quiet. I did just see a big herd of either whitetail or blacktail. But, uh, so we know this is going to be a good place and you can see all the tracks. So I think if we came out here at some point and just sat during a need zone time let me see i don't actually see a need zone for the area but we know we have one over there so if we came out before the need zone time sat there and just waited for our opportunity for them to come in <clears throat> i think that's going to benefit us the best excuse me polymer tip bullets i think are going to be on my top priority menu right now trying to get Something with a little bit more penetration. We might take down these deer a lot easier than with these soft bullets. Especially with this 243. My plan is once we get that 270 unlocked, then we'll have a little bit more stopping power for, you know, our deer. To where we can make some more money and stock up on this. So, we're actually really close. So, let's head up here. I don't really care how much sound we're making right now, because... We're just going to unlock this outpost. And we are here. Let's claim this. Hey, you're catching on quickly. Yeah, so basically this allows us access to the store nice to place, change out our right. gear. You won't find a soft bed in many parts around here. Don't forget to stock up before heading out. We do have a place in here we can rest. Oh, we got a cash reward. And then we got our gear over here where we can get our bullets, different guns, rifle ammo. So we, do we have the polymer tips? Not yet, we're close. We're close to getting the polymer tips. And like I said, we do have, of course, weapons in here hey that there. We you know that use. guy I mentioned earlier the 30 six. well looks like he's been having we a bit a of a problem lately he's been camping out over at Balmont a, a couple weeks we but use. coming back last night he found his camp turned on its head some food was taken and apparently the place looked like it had been really messed with I don't know if it was an animal or some tourist troublemakers, but I'm up in Chopeka all day and can't look into it. Listen, right. I know you probably have other plans, but you're in the right neck of the woods, and I'd sure be grateful if you could just stop on by and have a look. All right, Doc, stop talking for a little bit. Yeah, so basically right now we got three missions done, story missions. We got an outpost. Hope showed up here two years ago. Said something about getting off the grid. And we've I heard got he lost one his family in an accident Maybe two. while he was deployed yeah, we got overseas in the army. So hit the poor yeah. guy hard. I guess out here you only need to look out for yourself. I'm trying to wait for Doc it's to take a breath. Way. Not the most cheerful fella, to be honest, but he's earned his peace for sure. Let's find out whoever did this. So next episode, we got to travel to Hope, which is over here. 
but we do have access to four-wheelers now, which will be nice. There's another outpost here, a few other places where we can unlock some lore, stuff like that. Some of them are tree stands that we can build. 37.19 for cash. One thing we need to work on is just getting better shot placement for some of these deer. But for now, we got two deer today. And we're doing okay. They were both those. I wish we had locked in one of those bucks. I think that they're down somewhere, but whether or not if I can find them, that's another thing. We might come across them when we're playing. I don't know if they do spawn when I click out of the map or not, but I guess we'll find out. Thank you guys, guys so much for watching this first episode here for the Hunter Call of the Wild. I hope that you are enjoying this series. If you are, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the newest content here on the American Pride Network. And we will see you guys next time.